Hey, what is up guys, I device help here, and today in this video I want to do a follow-up on iOS 10.3 Beta 4. Now, a few days ago, a developer discovered a new diagnostic tool available on the latest iOS 10.3 Beta 4, and as always, I like to show you everything that there is to know about iOS, and do any follow-up video if anything else is discovered within betas, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. Now, in order to activate or bring up this uh, diagnostic panel on your device, all you have to do is power off of the device. Now, if you own a device that's prior to iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you're going to hold down the power and home button together as you plug in the lightning cable. If you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, due to the fact that they have the solid state home button, you want to hold the volume up and down as you plug in your lightning. Now the lightning cable has to be plugged into a power source. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the volume up and down together. Again for older devices, it's going to be power and home as I plug in the power source. And this is going to bring up the new diagnostic tool. As you can see there, the device is booting up. Now links in the description to the developer who discovered this. And as you can see there, now we have the new diagnostic tool. Let me go ahead and show you there. See that new icon up at the top? It says here, diagnostics allow Apple to identify potential hardware and software issues within the device. So we know that's what that's for. Just click start diagnostic. And then it's gonna ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my network here. Okay, and just click join. And here is the final panel here. Now, I think due to the fact that it's connected to my network, to my home Wi-Fi, it doesn't give me additional tools to diagnose the device. I think once you're connected to a Wi-Fi network with any Apple store, I think this will give you additional tools to run diagnostics. But for me, it's telling me to get support and repair for my Apple product to visit the website. I think that's how that's gonna work. But to exit the diagnostic, just click exit and boom, that's it, your device will reboot. And there you guys have it. Just wanted to share this one with you guys. It is something uh, within iOS that may not impact most of you guys, but it is something. And I like to show everything there is to know about iOS. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been iDevice Help, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.